What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have driven the Austrians out of Northern Italy and we're using this force under Tito Cardenas who is a Field Marshal of the Army, General Field Marshal of the Army. He has sallied north to hit this army that's currently raiding one of our um, religious institutions with an idea of pushing them north and then we can send this force here that's currently guarding the bridge up north towards Venice and capture another significant territory in our conquest of the Austrian lands. There's quite a few battles we've got to get through this turn. But first of all, let's not jump the gun. Let's take out this force here. It's there's a large amount of um, infantry and a large section of cavalry, but a good chunk of those infantry and cavalry units are quite significantly depleted. So let's crack on and take them out. We've got plenty of troops in this region. Should be able to knock out this force, drive them north, and then secure Venice. Because um, right now we are, we are still in that position where we need to be a bit careful about where we're spending our money. So potentially you might not be able to fight all the battles that we would otherwise like to. So, interesting ruined building in their line. I wonder if they will occupy that. But we are going to be on the defensive, on the offensive. Sorry. So let's put our artillery. Field artillery back behind the lines. We have a large contingent of howitzers, so let's combine them into two groups. So let's put a unit up, let's put our infantry in the centre. Let's put my Walloon guards on the right flank. Guard mode on. Let's put our Spanish Walloon line infantry on the left. I mean, so I've never played Spain as a faction in Empire until I started this campaign and I think they are potentially one of my favourite armies to play just because they've got such a nice mixture of units. So I'm going to put some guerrillas on the flanks to push up. We've got our conquistador on both flanks. Halberdier Guard are going to march up the center. Theo Marshall is here. He has a ranged weapon in the form of pistols. So, very short range. Um, situationally useful. Ooh, who isn't unlimbered? You chaps, unlimber. Get them to switch, set to quick climb, and then let's pick. Get the right most batteries to focus on the cavalry. Yeah, they're charging, alright. But I'm content to let my infantry do what they're going to do. Too bad we've got sound shenanigans, but the provincial cavalry should also then get engaged by the guerrillas at maximum range. Yep, so they've been broken. There is a cavalry charge on the left by the Hussars, but I am content to let my conquistadors turn fire at will on. So they load up their carbines. Charge my conquistadors in, put my light infantry out in a bit more of a protected position on the flank. My guerrillas on the left, on my right, sorry, should be a bit more protected to fire a devastating volley into the provincial cavalry. Excellent. Now the way is open to drive on the to drive up the right flank. So collectively, my conquistadors here are probably enough to win. Let's push my halberdier guard up here. Let's get my skirmishers to work on this unit of hussars. Good. The provincial cavalry are down. New men fire will off. Cease fire into the combat. Let's take these units and straighten them out a bit. All my artillery to the rear. Engage their artillery. So the general's bodyguard down. It's the unit of Hussars is down. So 
So form line again, bring out my skirmishes. Halberdier guards are looking a bit isolated. Hello, General. I'm not going to move them yet because they've just fired. Otherwise they'd have to go back all the way back through a reloading animation. Let's bring my conquistadors down into the action against the militia. Let's get my guerrillas to engage that regiment of foot. Ooh, hidden unit. Skirmishes, eh? Let's get my howitzers to drop. Round shot. Yeah, I knew that was coming in somewhere. Oh, light infantry in square. Very well, let's pick some new targets. The howitzers can bombard the infantry to the rear. Let's bring my cavalry in to knock out their artillery. Bring my right flank in. Hard. Redirect my cavalry to chase down their skirmishers. Oh, pull back actually. They're being engaged by these men behind the defences. Be one on the left flank. Good stuff. So now my line can advance in normal order. Let's get my guerrillas into the ruins. Let's get some Walloon guards around the right flank. Okay, good stuff. So we've got artillery. I've got some grenadiers pushing up into our grill, but I think we will get there first. Okay, let's pull the cavalry back. We don't have to worry about chasing them down so much. Where's my Royal Halberdier's Guard? They've lost a few men. Carcass shot inbound. So they've got a good volley to my Walloon Guards at point blank range. But I think it's safe to say they will not be able to withstand our firepower, especially with its friendly fire like that. Got a unit of line infantry that's a they've not abandoned their position they've relocated so let's push our cavalry around on the flank a bit more my Walloon infantry can engage three direct my uh, how it's a fire although we might have to take let's take three of these units Get my guerrillas to engage at point at um, long range. Get my Walloon infantry to push one flank, and then my other Walloon line infantry stand ready. Right now, everything seems fairly stable. Okay, there we go. Got a couple more units that have retreated in the center. The hundred and second. Charge the artillery. Let's just cease fire all of our guns for now. Because then once our Walloon line infantry get on the flank, that should force these chaps to manoeuvre. Let's get our conquistador charging down somebody. Let's bring our field marshal over here. Let's get all my Oh, they're out of range. There he is. He's a sly one. Yep, yeah, chase down the gunners. Make sure they're down. Okay, that wasn't really my plan, but I'll still take it.
I'd like my... Okay, pin them enough for the Walloon line to come in. Oh, wait a minute. Turn pistols off for you guys. Just chase them down normally, although I don't really know where the crew are. There we go. I want my infantry to chase down the line infantry. I want my conquistador to engage the general in combat. Carbines ready. Bring him into our custody. Hello? A warband. Oh god, one of their infantry units has actually reformed. Very well. Just take these guys and run them through the town. My general field marshal wants to chase down their warband. Take down the general. There he goes. Then my line infantry hold position. Yeah, let's continue a little bit. Just run them over. Run my other unit of conquistadors over. That's an infantry unit knocked out. I mean, that other unit's not going to get so busy. Your fire at will has caused a bit more damage than I would have liked. So, there we go. She's a unit of infantry to, infantry to chase down that unit of artillery. Chase my halberdiers to chase down that gun crew. They should fall down quick because they're a artillery team currently limbered up. But there we go. Victory for our forces in the field with fairly decent casualties. Or very decent army composition. General Field Marshal of the Army. He's up top, even though he didn't get the most kills. That honour goes to the to a unit of Conquistador, but they got absolutely smacked. So they will not be They will not be leading any charges. So you men make ready. Push up to the crossing. So I think that means this force under Miguel Capello can leave Genoa. No, certainly not. I was counting on... Well, I know what I... Well, let's test first. Can Santos Reyes leave Milan? Can indeed. So we can take Mr. Capitello out of Genoa. Get Mr. Reyes into Genoa. I think it's because Milan was formerly our territory, so they're quite happy with us, whereas Genoa is a formerly independent nation. So I think if we do the same with Felix Galas and leave Turin, they are also upset. So Mr. Capitello is going to form up on the border. So I want to push these guys and push Venice at the same time to drive them east. Let's repair that wine estate. Raimundo de Cahuna. You require something a bit interesting. So let's get a unit of Granadero de Marina. Although it's probably going to take you some time to get hold of that unit, but that's okay. We don't want to push here that much. Well, there's definitely one fight. Christian Morales is going to move south to engage Leopold Hat. But first, I'm going to want to take this force that's currently besieged at Gdansk and break the siege and push them out or away from our city. So let's engage this Austrian force here. In theory, it doesn't really matter because I could have held on to it for a few turns, but I think it behooves us. Um, when we've got such an overwhelming superiority on the field to actually fight back, especially as we're currently building defences. So we may as well push back when we've got the overwhelming... Oh no, we don't. We still have defences. Um, but nevertheless. Mercenary front rank. Mercenary centre rank. Split up our line infantry on both flanks 
General's unit stay to the rear. Our pikes are going to be on the right and they're going to flank. No, our militia are going to go on the right flank and try and extend around their line. So first of all, our volunteers want to get up to here because that is a lovely position. Because it's a raised route terrain feature, they can't charge us, but we can pour loads of gunfire down onto them. Our line infantry also wants to push our militia, which isn't the strongest, but is enough. We can push that flank. These three units can drive down through the lower ground here. Our pikes go over onto the right flank, and our line infantry push up to bolster that flank as well. If they wish to charge us with their... I mean, their horse guards. But I don't think they are quite what they want. Looks like they're going to abandon their guns anyway, so this might be a bit of a bad decision. Well, not bad, just less optimal. So let's run you guys off the hill. These men can chase down the guns. Let's get a unit up on the left flank. A lot of running. Yeah, you men just hold ground. They're horse guards, but they aren't invincible. Deploy my militia a bit further back. Looks like they are trying to push our right flank, but we're going to do a great job at pushing their left. Well, they're pushing our right flank, but we've got a great, going to do a great job of pushing their right flank. There you go, they're attracting moths to the flame towards the square. Our pikemen are pushing up, our militia are going to pour a fairly good volley at close range into the rear, which is pretty awesome. There we go. Oh, there were... Um, Defences. You men hunker down because you've got a provincial cav unit on the way. Never mind, we had infantry to spare. Let's get you guys out of square. Take our infantry and form up. I doubt they'll be needed to push back the horse guards. No, nope, there they go. They aren't shattered, so they may well return. Two units to dip into square. You guys get out of square. So the job of the militia is as is to pretty much hold. as a delaying action. Try and push some infantry around the rear of their formation. Get these units out of square. Form line to act as a bit of a bit of protection. For these units, they're going to attempt to flank around. Although you're probably going to have to fire it well off. Just to reload while these infantry units pass. I had to do a bit of manual clicking to make sure they would run past each other. Horse guards came back, but our pikemen are right here. Not even going to form square. You men fire at will. You men fire at will. Ooh, aim at the... Perfect. They're aiming at the infantry, but the provincial cavalry were in the way, so they took a full volley. My pikemen are making short work of their horse guards. They are now shattered. That unit of infantry that once routed has returned. So now it's a case of rolling up their flanks. Let's try getting my general over here. Or my captain over here. To try and support this unit of militia. But I think we're going to... Do a pretty good job at rolling them up. It's a lot of volley fire. See, they're standing in the cover of the woods. Bullets whipping around. All around them as they send their brave soldiers into their meat grinder. 
So this is what mercenaries look like. So compared to a regiment of line, they've got yellow breeches and like lower tunics are also yellow, but similar red facings to their jackets. They look pretty good. Wait a minute. For a minute, I thought that guy had an eye patch. Fifty-fifth regiment, a wavering. Yeah, I'm okay with leaving my. Reform our line, pull back a bit, let them reorganize. I mean, they're proving mar remarkably resilient. There we go, that's what I wanted to see. Just push up. The militia wavered, but they are back in line. We're going to have to fight our way along their line to get to the 42nd Regiment of Militia to protect my general. Let's push my pikes up there, actually. There we go. The collapse is going to be... The collapse is on now. Not really bothered by the general's bodyguard unit. send some units in to charge them because to be honest this is quite a delicious position to be in. Yeah, the 9th Regiment of Line have been gutted. Go on, tag him. Tag the general. 69th are going down. Nice. Oh, they took a... That was an excellent volley. So they fight in the snowy wastelands. Volley! I think they must be hitting the ground. up the pikes. Hey, the general's bodyguard charged. Very well. Continue the flank. 69th have fallen. Just keep squeezing them. I mean, we do have more firepower than I need right about now. The pike's going to slam into the militia. If they maintain their composure. Now my general's unit can pivot. Yeah, they'll stick around. They'll be, beat the militia. General's bodyguard is down. general has been has been killed on the field pikemen are going to chew through these militia I mean it says they're winning but I don't think it, I don't think they are the militia routed and came back again to charge my general into the flank of this militia close the jaws on this cauldron. Nope, there they go. As we bayonet charge the 42nd Regiment of Militia, and these men are very tired. They're still. They're running, but they're not. Running, running. Oh no, he just killed all my guys! See what happens to this guy. Oh, he's gonna spar. 
But will he get away with what he's done? He is, because they're sparring. He's going to miss. Oh, he kicked him down. Someone get him. I want to get. I want to see that guy go down. I don't think... It's that guy right there. Well, no, I'm not going to end... I'm not going to continue the battle just to see personal vendetta against one soldier. There we go. They got absolutely demolished. See you men replenish. Government building has been repaired. Sail the galley back over to Stockholm. Uh, no, we don't, need, we don't need militia over here. That's not a bad garrison, especially as it's fortified. We've covered Gdansk. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm content to let this continue. I've got you here, ready to, to swing shut against Munich. Hanover does not like Spanish rule, but that will come with time. We're sieging Dresden, but we're not going to attack yet. I'm going to take. Christian Morales south of this army here, then attack Leopold Hat just to make sure they don't. They were making a route towards um, Sarajevo, so we're probably going to fight this battle here, spend the rest of our money on some economy stuff, and then hit end turn and see what happens. But let's attack. The thing to bear in mind is that as we send all our troops into Central Europe, we are actually leaving our Eastern Front exposed, so that's another reason why it's so important to keep our recruitment of garrison forces near Konigsberg and in Poland, it's important to keep them topped up because we don't want to leave, we don't want to have a, um, a thin screen of troops on our front. Let's just deploy our guns in an almighty line. Let's take some of our troops and form a very potent right flank. So the remainder of our troops create a bit of a weaker left flank, although we do need to set up our guns in a bit of a... Oh no, they're okay. They're okay where they are. Once I move the howitzers, it will all become clear. It's not bad. There we go. General in the centre. Both of our howitzers is dropping quick climb, so let's pick pick good targets for them. But we want to take our line and push up. Because they will probably make I was going to say make motions towards our guns, considering their relative exposure in the centre of our line. But here comes the this unit of provincial cavalry. They're being engaged. If they hit our lines, we won't even care. New men form square. Excellent. They've got a nice flank we can hit into on the right here. I'm content to let my artillery engage their artillery. Get my general's bodyguard here to harass the cavalry there because they are they haven't lost many men general's bodyguard on the right flank run up our cuirassier form line and hold 15th are holding so let's run Run my cavalry away. Let the musket shots of my men ring out. Although I'm probably going to do charge one in to help attack. Fold in my left flank. Switch these guys to canister shot to engage the militia. Everyone else is having a great time. The artillery is focusing on their guns. Take our infantry, swing them right. Our cuirassier can take out the general. Let's 
Ooh, horse guards. Switch to round shot, lest we do too much friendly fire damage. See, my cavalry is running away from me now, even though we have an actual... They have an order. Push up our... Push up our left flank. If you guys can knock out the general, that would be great. Ooh, they did charge. Fifty-sixth have been pushed back. The sixth are looking very upset. This horse artillery. Should we destroy their hussars? Is vulnerable to my cavalry. No, nope, there it goes. Drive up my flank. Begin to close. Close off the left flank. Ooh, okay. Round shot time. Yeah, the 42nd Regiment was about to receive a lot more grief in due course. This, this fight's really annoying, because look. Neither of my units are near the Hussars, which means no one's dying, which means it lasts longer. I'm going to push the 28th out of their defences, because they will not stand to our artillery fire. Let's bring a cuirassier up. Get these guys out of square. You men advance towards the 6th, currently dug in. And once we take the 6th, we can then take the 27th. Bring our hussars up to the front. The 5th Regiment of Militia has decided it will stand. Let's take two of our infantry units to push around the flank while two storm up. Okay, you guys fill in the gaps here. Our cuirassier are here to menace the militia to the rear, because once we charge, we don't want the militia firing into the melee and getting too many free kills. Well. Got engineers here that will see through that. There you go, the militia are already wavering from the damage that's been done they may well flee but they will there they go get the hussars to chase down the militia get the line infantry to pursue the 31st new men advance hard down the hill because they are they've relocated send my crossiers in hold fire with my artillery There we go. Where's my hussars? Chase down the 28th. And these men form line. And there you go. The 6th Regiment of Grenadiers is not going to stand up to our punishing volley fire. Get these men in against the Hungarian Skelet's Zekli Militia. This regiment of foot is reloading, pouring fire into the flank of the Grenadiers. And there they go. Our artillery can engage the 32nd Regiment. Push up the field. Keep on attacking right now. We've got we all we've a main thing to think about is we've got a couple of units that are fairly strong. 
They might have been reduced to half strength, but they aren't. It's not enough. Well, I should probably hit the 56 because they are actually above half strength. The Crassier have charged into the line at the 32nd. You men are going to charge in to help support that combat, that unit of line infantry that is so experienced is about to have their guts ripped out by charging cavalrymen. There we go. You men hold back. You men hold back. We are going to continue just to uh, teach them a lesson. Let's speed up time. There we go, you might gain some experience there. Chasing down quite a veteran Austrian infantry unit. Potentially destroying it for good. <coughs> Apologies for that. Um, we've got... 32nd. There we go. They're going down. No experience for my general. But the battle is won. I need to make my... What I was about to say was I should make my mute button more accessible, and I did, and my cable fell out, and then my mixer stopped working. Ugh. But here we go, here's the final butcher's bill. Christian Morales has just done a fantastic job. Leopold Hat will not be continuing his march south, and he has marched towards Zagreb. So Mr. Rig, if you drive west, Mr. Roig, sorry, put Zagreb under siege, just to provide a bit more, a bit more of a focus. So we've got an, an army here that could re run around doing some frustrating things, but we're still recruiting our, a garrison here, so I'm not going to worry about that. Instead, I'm going to hop over to here and make sure we are, yeah, we need to repair the government building there. That one's being repaired and upgrading the roads. That army is not entirely replenishing, so let's keep replenishing. Let's build metal roads. Upgrade the farm, because this army can continue driving south toward, towards Louisiana. Once we've, taken, once we've taken Louisiana, we can surround the Cherokee. and One army can hit Savannah. This army can hit Teleco, and this army can hit Chikasa. I mean, you put all of their territories under siege in one turn. Muscogee tribesmen. Um, we should really claim Newfoundland, considering it's nothing held by nothing more than an army of rebels. So let's take this sloop, which I'm sure probably had a purpose. Take this force, they can leave Boston. Sail aboard ship. I'm probably going to auto new for this Newfoundland battle because it's just a bunch of rebels. Yeah, they've got no. Yeah, no. Just take it. Bring it into the fold. So that should help our economy a good chunk. 79,000. That's not bad to bring in that to turn. And right now we don't have any major existential threats. Obviously we have a force back here that's still guarding Tangier in the event of the Mughals attempting anything more sinister. Um, but yes, our overall position looks rather good. From a research perspective, oh, not really, don't really want Sevilla look, researching carbines, but to be honest, go for threshing machine. We need to build an army staff college to get machine rifling and so on. Anyway, instruction para el cosio terrestre. Huh. So you're buying this one in Spanish, or else I'd be able to actually read it. Oh well. Um. So yeah, that all looks good. I'm okay with to let this carry on because it'll be it'll be over in one turn, and then we can turn south and deal with these chaps. Let's hit end turn. You know, marching an army up towards the Moscow Road to keep them from doing anything silly. We are also at war with the um, the Ottomans, but at least we've got a, we've got a a proper force in Baghdad. 
Yeah, the Austrians will be a tough nut to crack, but it would appear they aren't ready to throw in the towel just yet. But they are clustering their troops in the centre of their empire while attempting to steal our precious technology. I don't think that's going to be the outcome they wanted, and it's annoying they're, they're going to raid along the coast. But there we are. Let them continue raiding. Ah, the Ottomans are back. Well, I suppose we have just we have just uh, started fighting them. Don't worry, Ottomans. You're not going to be doing that for very long. Once we defeat your armies in the field, you will end up. Oh god, this is going to happen again. Yeah, we tried to secure these territories with not great troops, but then again. The ships they're sailing to attack us aren't exactly potent. I mean, galleons were enough to not get completely wiped out, which is something you don't get with sloops and so forth. Ooh, I, uh, Russia's declared war on me. Calling in Denmark. Well, come on, New Spain. Join the war. Now it's kicked off. Now we need to, we need to push through Central Europe pretty rapidly we need to take out Austria, we need to take out Denmark now because Copenhagen is quite a valuable territory to hold but fortunately I have fortified my the cities on the border but now it means when we push through the Caucasus we can keep going and we have an army on the road to Moscow so you know what Russia you done goofed you done goofed and we're coming for you, I've got my, an army in um, Laval, or in you know, Romania, Moldavia sort of area, which can drive north and hit... Um, I can't remember the name of the territory. This one here. I don't know. I think... Well, Russia has goofed. I mean, fundamentally, it was only a matter of time before they did something because they couldn't really afford to let us have the freedom that we are currently experiencing I think we need to build up some garrison armies in Hanover and in northern Italy so I'm, I'm not losing an entire army of top of the line troops simply to garrison duties yeah Russia is also back trying to steal my technology You devils. That trade is going to hurt our income. That's part of the reason why I was so keen to get... Oh yeah, so whatever. Oh, Denmark didn't actually join them. That's handy. And well, I'm going to auto that, because why the hell not? <laughs> so Stuttgart have been wiped out. This army that is in Stuttgart is going to repair, then drive south. Or replenish, then drive south to hit these two armies. So we went to get 79,000, we got 65,000. First and foremost, Stuttgart, get rid of that university. That's the cause of most of their upset. Diogo Coronado. So now we can... Whoa. Now we can do this. We can combine some of our units together. And, oh no, it's because oh, they're also depleted. Oh well. Let's take two of our weaker infantry units out. Replace them with two stronger units inside the city. You two units can stay by, stay there. So you continue to replenish. Let's upgrade two of these industry buildings. Okay, you march to cover their retreat south. Let's repair this building. Milan's getting better roads. Turin can get better roads. And you can start to recruit. I would like to have got Dragoons, but I can't really get proper Dragoons. I can get these Dragoons, but they're a limited unit. So, Militia it is. I mean, I could exempt them from tax. That only buys me one turn. It's not ideal. Let's upgrade the boardy house to a theatre. Should 
which I know I could do with some happiness, but I don't think they're going to get it. Vito put Venice under siege. Christian march south. I could attack them, but that would drive them this way if we don't kill them, so I had to go south. Württemberg has been destroyed, however, which means there is a gaping hole in their front. So I think we want to take Mattia de Galve and hit Hungary. Then we want to take Arturo Cruz along the other side of the river to hit Vienna. So we've got a whole bunch of battles lined up. So as you, as you can see, Russia is on the move. But that's okay. I might push... Oh, how important are you guys to national order? Not very. Okay, push up to the Finnish border. Let's upgrade another cloth mill. Hanover. start recruiting infantry because I mean Denmark didn't join the Russians but we could definitely use this army so can you guys leave Cologne you can so does that mean this army can leave Hanover if you get militia inside minus eight sure no is the answer to that To be honest, I could probably mass recruit Dragoons here in Amsterdam and send them forward. So yeah, got Light Dragoons as an option. I mean, I presume Light Dragoons are just as good as regular Dragoons. Let's just recruit four of them for now. Got so much stuff I can upgrade. So much untapped potential. But we're going to have to fight a series of battles. So in one fell swoop, we can knock out Venice. You can hit these two armies, and then Mr. Demarcado can push on to Munich. We can take Dresden, Hungary, Vienna, Zagreb. We've got an army here that was waiting for orders. So Marcio Campos march north to Lovao. Kiev is currently protected. Crimea, build some troops, Jean Mazde, engage Peter Lacey, just to clear the route towards the capital and go raid their territory because he will, they will be pushing up to Moscow. And down here obviously this army under Carlito Quiroga needs to engage Mr. Riza. don't have any other free troops to immediately threaten their territory. Because fundamentally I don't want to leave Baghdad unprotected, so we probably do have to continue recruiting in Ankara to build up another army to threaten Yanavan and Tbilisi. But I think before we get too carried away with spending our money... We need to resolve some of these actions. So let's take Vito Sanchez. Let's clear the Austrians out of Venice because that will blow quite a significant hole in their economy. So how much is Venice worth? 9,000. Prague's... I mean, Vienna is obviously the biggest one, but I think capturing Venice is their second most valuable town. Yeah, by some margin as well. Right. Mr. Sanchez, let's attack Venice. Because these armies, we really need to crush the enemy presence in the west so we can drive our troops east into Russia and clear out the, the czarist minions, dig them out from their holes. But I don't think we're going to be running into too much, too much of a, uh, a challenge from the Russians, ba not based on their initial attacks. Let's just put my guns on the high ground to the rear. A series of artillery pieces 
here in the clear the clear ground we're going to take four infantry units plus a regiment of grenadiers and use these guys to push into the town and we're going to form two separate brigades to push either flank we have no cavalry because this army was built to defend a bridge but it will suit our purposes so wherever they wherever they elect to be weak we will be strong I'll let the fight Freikor cavalry continue to run but let's push our troops in they're going to get gunned down by our infantry anyway but let's secure the town I mean yeah they're yeah, decidedly unhealthy so let's swing our infantry line in on the left flank Quick climb going in. General, join this flank here. Probably want to focus the bulk of my artillery in supporting that right flank because they're the one that's currently the most isolated. You chaps run. I mean, we could hold the town hall, but why limit our firepower to this handful of muskets when we've got entire, you know, battalions that can do just a ludicrous amount of damage? Lots of quick climb there. Let's pivot this unit a bit to the right. Ooh. You men push up. You men form up in this gap here. You men form up in the clear space. Yeah, I don't. Th I think these. Yeah, the Austrians have realised what's going to happen. Quick climb's coming in. The line infantry is wavering. Grenadiers form up. Yeah, my right flank is just going to smash open, well my left flank is going to smash open their right in the centre, our deployment zone isn't optimal but it's enough to maintain our artillery support for the right flank but also dropping some down, attack grounding in this area go on 34th regiment, clear them out To my grenadiers. So I'm holding down the N key to do this. Yeah, the 38th are pushing forward very valiantly, artillery firing over their heads. But the 34th regiment is doing a fantastic job at holding, supported by the 27th and the 9th grenadiers. Ooh. Nope, they are not long for this world. And there we go, their flank is looking vulnerable. Carabiner that are going to engage our infantry, but then will they will also be engaged, including by our engineers. Excellent. The right flank has collapsed. My attack ground orders are still holding. Let's get my general out on the right flank to pursue some of the weakened troops. Let's switch our artillery to round shot. But these, I mean, they've done an absolute kill in here in the centre. This poor unit of militia. Militia and warband, skirmish troops. They have not liked the sequence of events that brought them into this into this action here 
drive forward. The 22nd Regiment still attempts to elude us, push our line up to their gun line. Yeah, just getting my general to pursue some of their troops that are just routing, not shattered. But yeah. 22nd Regiment. Oh, they're in a not not excellent position. Lots of routing men. Get all my howitzers to engage the, the um, hussars. Well, that's their general's bodyguards. So we don't necessarily expect them to be um, the most agile at getting involved. So these ranks can fire it well off and just stand ready. There goes the general's bodyguard. They'd have to run the gauntlet of this, this line of infantry. That's their own barricades, so they'll be fine. Aha! Hello! push up. Keep my general's bodyguard attacking so I'd like to see if I could get them a, a, a one more level of experience. So 9, 14, 15, 11. Remember that. 9, 14, 15, 11. If they kill enough guys that is. Yeah, two units of militia. There we go. So they got a unit of melee attack. A unit of defense and a unit of what plus one morale charge bonus and attack no 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 not, not charge bonus 9 14 15 11 yeah the unit plus one melee attack plus one defense plus one morale what's not to like about that i mean these militia are particularly bold Yeah, just push them up. Ooh, why are you upset? Turn the artillery off because it was my power that's firing at the extreme range. Yep, there goes the militia. You should just be in range. You are. Excellent. So this army that's been unbloodied for so very long now is doing just fine. There we go. Good victory. Venice is secured with minimal losses. 255 casualties for the Spanish. So you'd spend a good amount of change upgrading this building and minus three that should go down well i want to fix this boardy house because i want this army to be able to move tito push ahead of the city i'm going to leave their ships in port just because it'll prevent them from sailing somewhere else and potentially being a bit more frustrating Sail a sloop over to Nice. So. I mean, fundamentally, if I just combine. Whoa. Combine these ships. Yeah, there we go. So then I can send these ships out to their separate zones Yusuf DD Dede there we go so let's bring our galleons back into action so but that does has opened up the the need to potentially beef up our 
ships going out to trade. At least a little bit. Um, I need to get an army staff college just to maximise my recruitment. I need, I need to recruit more armies from here in general because that's where we've got some of our cool looking troops. Wow, you're coming all the way from Madrid to get those grenadiers. Um, in, much, in which case then, no. You will not do that. You will instead pick up a unit of... Well, what can I get in Rome? Fusiliers, that'll do. So you've taken Venice. Let's go to... Miguel Capitello, you can't engage them. They're they are going to stay here because I want to I wanted to clear them out before I push on Munich. So this area is going to stay a bit static. Very well. Let's take Mr. Roig and attack the garrison here at Zagreb. That'll wake him up. Push in. Knock him to pieces. Get out. Well, not get out. Take the city. Take the city, rebuild what we can. Uh, Mr. Roig actually might. I've taken Croatia and both Hungary and Venice are under siege. Mr. Roig might get immediate orders to march just east towards Crimea at high speed because we have no need to keep him in Central Europe. Obviously it's raining. So our guns are going to go onto the high ground. How it's is going to go on the low ground. All my infantry is generally in good shape. We're going to advance and see the tactical challenges as we face them. It's quite a nice flat map. So I'm not anticipating huge problems. The bulk of our cover on the right flank. The general is going to follow up in the center. The Lancer guards on the left. Now it's just on quick climb, let's get popping. So let's push up our infantry pretty quick. Got sound shenanigans. Let's take our lances and push. Fundamentally, they've got so many men dug in, in the town. Obviously, it's understandable. They're defending the town. But really, um, Kind of ideal for us. It looks like a couple of their units do want to push out from the town. So the men on the right advance at speed. Bulk of our cavalry move up as well. Yeah, that unit of provincial cavalry will not last for very long. Push up our left flank hard. Push up our lances as well. So let's get our lances to start to try and pursue the general's bodyguard. We have an enemy horse guard unit who will come under fire especially this regiment oh there's one guy what's up with them if their troops try and push out on their right flank they're going to be in a bit of bit, a bit of trouble switch to round shot because the quick climb isn't necessarily needed now. Lancer guards charge the provincial cavalry. Push the infantry unit up. This one stay idle. A lancer should have done really good amounts of damage to the general's bodyguard. They might not kill him in the follow-up action. But they did. Slam Curacier in. Assault the town on the right flank. 
engaging them with musket fire. Let's get my lancers to try and push in. Get all my mass cavalry charge on the right, on, on my right flank. Off. These are lancer guards against the 7th regiment of militia. Dipped lances. In they've gone. Matched with Curassier. Get my Swiss line up here as well. Push these units up. Get my Lancer Guards to take the mortars. I think we're about to see a precipitous collapse of enemy fighting power. You're okay because you managed to run in between the spikes. Yes, you're still okay. As long as you avoid the spikes. Who's this? The 9th Regiment? No, oh, they're wavering. You men slam into the rear of the 42nd Regiment. Two infantry regiments here. Clearing out 28th, fighting outside the town hall, struggling to see which white coats are the ones we want to win. It's the ones with the dark cross belts are our guys. They just killed one of our chaps. Pull our cavalry back to prevent them from having any. receiving any silly casualties. 42nd Regiment are going down. They're quite elite, but the rest of their men will be taken into custody once the city falls. There we go. Garrison has collapsed. Zagreb is ours. That's gone really quite well. Let's repair the main building, replenish our troops. So you can see, we, apart from this army down here, we don't really have any concentration of enemy troops to worry about. So Tito, you're the general field marshal of the army. Get over here as rapidly as you can, considering there's some gaps along the way. I think we have to... Well, if you attack Hungary, do you draw in... Mr. Holzer's reinforcements. I don't think... Yeah, do you? I think you do. So if I fight, take Hungary, that draws this army and his reinforcements. They get destroyed. So then Mr. when Mr. Cruz attacks Austria, this army is no longer a factor. So I think that's the way to do it. One thing I do want to do well, if I'm going to do that, I best. I think I'm better off just. Trade with Mysore is being blocked. Is that our fault or theirs? Looks like it's. ours somewhere. Oh, it's you. So. I mean, you can sail straight into their control zone, because they're not going to stop you. Sink those ships. And then sail back into Sandy Bay. To prevent them access to the Med. That's the reason why they're both just sat out there, because they know they can't get in. 81,000, there we go. We freed up our port. Trade with Mysore is restored. New Spain is worth 45,000 a turn. Which is quite delicious. Um, so got 4,200 cash. I think the best thing to do is to take... Take Hungary this turn. Well, take, take Hungary this turn. Hit end turn. Get more cash. Take Vienna next turn. I think that's the play. Um, but, looking at the timer... I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the capture of Hungary and some... <laughs> we've dealt some significant blows to the Austrians. Actually, 
actually oh no prague's still a thing i was curious about how far away we are from knocking them out no matter but anyway i'll see you next time for the destruction of hungary cheers everyone <laughs>